Well, when you were watching Le Cinema dans les yeux, if you were, you must have thought it was a fairly easy option, judging the films at the Cannes Film Festival. I mean, Kurosawa's Kagemusha, and Lindsay Anderson's If, and Fellini's La Dolce Vita, and Joe Losey's The Go-Between, they're all pretty obvious prize winners, at least in retrospect, aren't they? But what about Emia Kusturica's When Father Was Away on Business? And that one in 1985. And I can remember the number of red faces that there were in a croisset, my own included, when what we thought was a charming make-weight film in the festival walked off with a grand prize. I wonder why this youngish Yugoslav director won. Uh, some mischievous people suggested that perhaps the presence of Milos Forman on the jury that year at Cannes had at least provided sympathy because Kostorica went to the Prague Film School and of course Milos Forman at that time uh, was a Czech director and of course now he's a director, an emigre director working in America. And yet this Yugoslav film has a great deal of merit on its own. It's a curious film. You and I probably don't think of it as a political film, but the Yugoslavs certainly did. It's set in 1950 when Tito had made the break with Stalin. And it deals with a family, the father of which is a skirt chaser, I use the word advisedly as you'll see if you watch the film, uh, who's denounced by an ex-girlfriend as perhaps rather too favorable to Stalin and quite suddenly finds himself carted off to a labor camp for re-education. Now in Yugoslavia at that time this was referred to as father or anyone else being away on business. The story is seen through the eyes of the six-year-old son of the family, which is what I think gives the film its unusual interest. It could play like a family comedy, not in the American sense, where the dad, mom, and the kids continuously cheek each other, but in the European sense, where father, mother, and the children change each other by experience. And we watch the boy being changed by a visit to father, by uh, his own relationships with a young girl whom he meets when they go off into the countryside, by going with father to the town, where father still casts an eye on the girls, and eventually witnessing an act of, well, of sexual violence. Incidentally, there's an act in the film of circumcision which you don't have to witness. <laughs> Some people have been a little puzzled by this, but it actually belongs to the Serbian Muslim tradition, I'm told. And I think, looking again at the film, I understood why it won. Because in other cases, significance has carried off the Palme d'Or at Cannes, but when father was away on business shows that charm also can win the prize.